First contest is between boxers from the Czech Republic and Brazil. Oh, there is Milos Bartl, 29 years of age from Kladno in the Czech Republic. His opponent is the familiar figure of Wanderson de Oliveira, nicknamed Sugar, soldier in the Brazilian army. They're the five scoring judges who come from the Korean Republic, Canada, Lithuania, Australia and Chinese Taipei. All of them sat around the four cornered square of the boxing ring. Mr. Atabayar Bayambayar of Mongolia is the referee. Well, there, the previous results of Sugar outpointing Ireland, Ireland bronze medalist from Tokyo, Aidan Walsh, in the previous round. Stoppage winner over, over Dodgio Smodo of Portugal from Milos Bartl in his round of 32 contest. So we're underway then. This is action in the round of 16 in the men's 71 kilogram division. The Southpaw wearing red who is going to work immediately to the body is the undefeated professional. Three fights, three wins in the paid code. And that is Milos Bartl from the Czech Republic. The man wearing oh. blue has just landed a cracking right hand. Is the Tokyo Olympian. Fifth place finisher losing to the imperious Andy Cruz en route to Olympic gold for the Cuban maestro at the quarter-final stage. And that is Wanderson de Oliveira, nicknamed Sugar, from Brazil. One of the best 71-kilogram boxers in the world is Sugar. Comes to the ring. Oh, that's oh. a cracking right uppercut, swinging the head back of Bartle. But Wanderson de Oliveira comes to the ring as a reigning world championship bronze medalist, losing at the semi-final stage oh. to Uzbekistan, Sam Jafid Jafarov of Uzbekistan at the semis. Good right hand to the body from De Oliveira, and then a right uppercut turned underneath again before showing good defensive responsibility with his left glove to ward off the right hook that was thundered in by Bartle. You see the reddening on Bartle's face. There's a good double right hand from Bartle, but then two shots down to the body from De Oliveira. Bartle trying to spin around his man. Beautiful right-left combination between the gloves of Sugar, penetrating his defences with that spearing left cross. Really like the uppercut from Oliveira there. It, it just cut. Oh, there it is again. Beautiful double uppercut. Double right uppercut turned it down into a right hook to the body. And Bartle's defences moving porous to that shot in particular. Oh, there's a right uppercut from Bartle. But oh. then back comes De Oliveira. Terrific trade-offs at centre ring. Both men landing cracking shots at short and mid-range. A torrid first two minutes in this 71-kilogram round of 16 affair. And again, this one being fought almost exclusively on top of the logo, could throw a blanket over both of these boxers and they seemingly would still find room for their work. This could really be fought in a phone box. Big swing and a miss with the right hook. The left that followed did get through for Sugar. Both boxers enjoying success, oh. the head and body. Then the final word coming from De Oliveira, that left hook. And I love the spirit in which this is being <laughs> fought because the heads are coming together. That's the belt from ring B. Smile on the face of Sugar as the action resumes as they both paused to make it their way to their respective corners. But it's orthodox and southpaw. The heads are coming together rather frequently, such as the close proximity in which they're contesting this contest. Nice left hand from Sugar. And when the heads do come together, they're checking on the welfare of their opponent. Just leaning back. You all right, my man? OK, let's go again. But a brilliant round of boxing. And it's a clean sweep of the cards from Sugar. The Tokyo Olympian taking it 10-9 for all five scoring judges. Really liking the uppercuts from Oliveira. The right hand double uppercut, just bam, bam, just lifting the, the man in red's chin. You might even get to catch that in the, in the replay, possibly. Milos Bartl played his part in what was a really entertaining round, but that was the most profitable punch for De Oliveira. There's the double uppercut, turned into a right hook to the body. Terrific portion of the round. Yeah, absolutely. Just beautiful shot picking there on the inside, up close, guard up, and just penetrating the guard through the middle with the uppercut.
So into the second round then, in what has been a contest that has been fought exclusively at the territory where you see the two boxers now. Contemptuous shake of the head from Wanderson and Oliveira, who goes searching for that right uppercut once again, then tries to fire in a right hook, catches his man with a bent arm left jab. Milos Bartl trying to chop away, looking to spin around the target, lands a good left hook to the body. Wanderson opens his arms as if to say, OK, try that again and you're going to be counted. But a good start to the second round by B Milos Bartl after being outpointed unanimously. Right hand to the body, left hook upstairs from De Oliveira. Just became a little bit disorganised and he has his chin checked by a right oh. hook once again from the South Pole in red. And I think he's been hurt, De Oliveira. That is why he looked to fashion a clinch. And his eyeballs were a little bit in orbit after he was clocked cleanly by the undefeated professional Milos Bartl. Yeah, he really was. Oliveira was really... He was hurt by that punch, and he did the right thing, you know, holding on to your man. Oh, that's oh. a low blow from Dolivera, but then he takes a shot upstairs, and all of a sudden, Dolivera, while well, there's a bad cut to the hairline, we talked about how frequently the heads were coming together. Let's keep an eye on the ref. He, bu he bumps those knuckles together. This cut to the hairline of Wanderson Dolivera, and it's one that's leaking profusely as well. Well, it has been caused by an accidental clash of heads. The doctor, happy for the contest to continue, but this could well provide a spur oh. to De Oliveira. But look at the response from Sugar. Right back into the breach. He won't want this contest to be stopped. And if it is, he wants to make sure that he's ahead on the scorecards. Good two-shot salvo from him. Right-hand lead is a scoring shot. But his face, scarlet once again, as the blood continues oh. to leak from his hairline. Mouthpiece dislodged, timeout called by the ref so that it can be rinsed and reinserted. But what a resumption after the inspection from the doctor by Wanderson de Oliveira. He wants to ensure that if the contest is, is stopped and we go to the scorecards, the portion of the second round that's completed will be scored. He doesn't want there to be any doubt that he's the boss. Right hook on the resumption, crackingly pick punch from Sugar. Yeah, beautiful there by Oliveira. Just the, the, the backhands. Going straight through the middle to his man in red. And Oliveira has been slowed up by these body shots and the clean shots he's taken upstairs. And all of a sudden, it's as though he's wading through treacle. He's gamely coming forwards, only to be picked off by a right hand once again. Round a minute to go in this second round. An incident-filled round. Looking for the right uppercut that served him so well in the opening round is Oliveira. My goodness. Bartler slowed down dramatically after absorbing those shots to both head and body. Success to both body and head for De Oliveira once again. Willing his way forwards is Bartle, looking for a left cross. Burst of shoeshine punches to the middle from the man in red, punctuated by a right hook around the left glove of De Oliveira. And De Oliveira put so much into the resumption that he taking the opportunity to lean on. Nice right left, twice in quick succession, but look at the increasingly pronounced effect that the right hand from De Oliveira has. We're only in the second round, but this contest has already taken on an attritional quality and a double right hand from De Oliveira. I thought a standing count was going to be forthcoming because it drove Bartle backwards and both men oh. keen to lean on one another just to gain some respite from a pace that was absolutely searingly hot through the second round. Milos Bartle clearly feeling the efforts of his exertions. He's taken the second round for the first judge. I think that's a little generous, but Wanderson de Oliveira leading 20 points to 18 for four of the five judges, taking the second round 4-1. What a round. Yeah, beautiful work there. Beautiful infighting. Oliveira was just doing, just picking him off, uppercuts, straight rights. Straight lefts. That's the shot where Oliveira appeared to have been buzzed. But after the clash of heads resulted in a cut to the hairline, my goodness, oh. Oliveira came back with punches like that and they drained Milos Bartle rather rapidly. At the end of the round, both men took the opportunity to lean on. That bell could not sound soon enough as both boxers re-enter the fray to begin the third and final round of this round of 16 71 kilogram contest. It has been absolutely riveting so far. Milos Bartle. Oh, that's a shove and a flip of a tangle of legs that sends him to the canvas. <laughs> you see the referee from Mongolia. What a right hand to the body on a resumption from De Oliveira. 
And if Milos Bartl is feeling the pace, if he continues to be worked over downstairs, well, that is really going to test his conditioning. And again, they check on the welfare of one another after the heads came dangerously close together once again. Oh. Changing angle in front of his man now is De Oliveira. Oh. Beautiful right uppercut once more, followed by a right cross. Milos Bartl continuing to compete. His one-two combination blocked by the gloves of De Oliveira. Oh. There's a right uppercut through the middle once again. That right hand to the body doubling oh. over Bartl. Oh, and then a three-shot salvo. No standing count forthcoming. And his head was swiveled from side to side. The punches coming in such blistering speed that his head hadn't finished swiveling from the previous shot before he was tagged with another. There's another left hook and another left hook. Bartle gets through with a single shot of his own and this contest taking on a torrid quality here now. De Oliveira appears to be hurt or at least fatigued from the eye-catching punches that he has landed. But I'm staggered that no standing count was issued against Milos Bartle. Uh, unbelievable. I mean, the, the uppercuts from Oliveira, it's no wonder they call him Sugar, the trademark double right uppercut. That was better than... Well, can you believe it? A single right hook success from Milos Bartl tagged De Oliveira cleanly, but for the punch success that De Oliveira had, no count was forthcoming against Milos Bartl. And Milos Bartl, with a bit between his teeth, on the resumption, lands a three-shot oh. combination. There's a right uppercut, followed by a right cross from Wanderson De Oliveira. His hand's down now. Chin an open target, and both boxers, well, they're concentrating on the defence, but I'm not sure they've got the reflexes to evade punches coming in their direction. And again, look at this gentleman's agreement. Both men just taking a breather, drawing the course of that clinch. Remember, the winner will go through to the quarterfinals, and the quarterfinalists will be one win away from securing an Olympic quota place. Bartle shoves his man off, looks to get back to range. Wanderson de Oliveira desperately tired, so too is Bartle. But Bartle knows that time is against him and look at the manner in which he sprinted across the ring de Oliveira killing the clock tying his man up to prevent him from working the referee hip to that veteran move good southpaw left landed by Bartle Bartle continuing to let both hands go furiously each man celebrating what they feel is a success disengaging is Wanderson de Oliveira Bartle beats the flag on his chest and says come on let's fight but good bout management from Wanderson de Oliveira and that miniature of the LeBron James celebration is in acknowledgement of progress through to the quarter-final stage for Wanderson de Oliveira but Milos Bartl played his part in what was an utterly absorbing and dramatic encounter filled with two-way action he produced a standing count in the third round i'm surprised that no standing counts were assessed against milos bartle because this man's combination punching in the first half of the round was sensational and i think it was the effort he put into those punches that drained his tank so dramatically i think the man in blue is going through but let's get official confirmation from the judges And there is confirmation of a split decision victory for Wanderson de Oliveira, the man nicknamed Sugar, prevailing 4-1 over Milos Bartl of the Czech Republic. The two men combining to produce a show-stopping affair of the highest order here at the E-Work Arena. And the world championship bronze medalist from the 2023 edition in the Uzbekistan capital, Tashkent, last year, is now one win away from becoming a two-time Olympian. What a contest. Beautiful boxing there by Sugar Oliveira. We know why they call him Sugar. The double trademark uppercut, the punch picking in this last round was absolutely unbelievable. Feel, heart goes out to Bartel. He really did try in that last round to try and pull it back, but he just didn't have enough in the tank. And Oliveira goes through to the next round. But what a fight. And there's the score. So Bartel actually taking the third round for three of the five scoring judges which I do find a little bit surprising, but Wanderson Oliveira going through on a 4-1 split overall. Terrific two-way action throughout the entirety of that.